You know, I'm not much of a karaoke singer. If you had to, today, if I had to, we may have a surprise for you. I love oh. the fun <laughs> Shout out to the foresters. Oh, everything just served. Double shaka. Okay, yeah. Welcome to the Good Times Pod, presented to you by La Point Surf Camps. I'm John Jacobson. This is the podcast where we sit down with exciting guests from around the world to talk about surfing, traveling, adventures, and sustainability. In short, we mix together all the things that we froth about and blend it into this flavorsome broth of froth. <laughs> That's a hard it's, sentence. Yeah, well, I, I love going there. Um, it's with great excitement that I can uh, wish welcome to Helena Olafsson. Thank you very much. Thanks for being with us. Pleasure to be here. Hey, um, you are a certified shredder. You've been representing Norway on the Norwegian national snowboard team around the world. You are currently a host and a front woman for one of the most popular talk shows in Norway. Yes. In a sense, that puts a lot of pressure on me interviewing a professional interviewer. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're doing fine. You're doing really good. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, um, I have a lot of experience underperforming on one-on-ones with women. Yeah, so okay. So I think we're going to do well. <laughs> now, um, how has your week been so far in La Pointe uh, Surf Camp Portugal? It's been uh, really nice. We had uh, some challenging uh, conditions, but... Uh, I caught some waves, and yeah. that's uh, all I expect. So uh, we've, we've had fun, a lot of fun. And then we've had surf sessions in the morning, and then we've gone around and exploring Portugal in the afternoon. So it's been nice. Yeah, cool. Yeah. We're going to have a quick look at, um, I guess, a few uh, of the moments that you've had. <laughs> yeah. um, here you are uh, getting changed in town. Yes. It's really the cold in the morning, these rocks. So... Bring shoes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is my boyfriend. Yeah, here we are in a beautiful moment. Yeah. About to get in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Gearing up for some surf there. Yeah, it looks like we're joining a surf competition with our... Yeah, with your rashes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This but is it, a warm-up exercise. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful vibe. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. About to take it on. Uh, for the people watching, uh, it has to be said we've had a really challenging week in terms of actually two big waves yeah. uh, for this week. It's been a bit stormy. Yeah. As you can see here, there's a lot of water and whitewash. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you made it out uh, eventually. Um, <laughs> yes. Here overlooking the beautiful little village of Erisaira. Mm -hmm. Have you been uh, hanging out in town exploring? Yes. Tried a lot of different restaurants. Yeah. And uh, just, uh, yeah, walking around. It's a cute little town. Yeah, yeah. it is. Eh? Um, and from here, we're going to have a look at some live action. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> it's so, it's, I, it, I get so embarrassed from watching myself surf. It's the worst. Can well, you? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> I think you did really well, actually. Here we are, uh, live warming up. Yes. Dancing in the sand. Yes. This is my crew. <laughs> One of my crew getting washed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here you go, and this is a, just a beautiful moment, I think, where you're coming out of the fall. Yeah, the camera guy did really well. <laughs> yes. Good job, thumbs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was cool to watch. Um, now, uh, if we start at the beginning, how did you get into surfing? Oh, um, my coach surfed back in the days. So we went on snowboard a coach. snowboard coach. So we went on a surf trip, actually to Portugal, to Faro. Ah. Uh, I, I didn't catch a single wave because it was difficult and nobody taught me. Uh, so, uh, but I, I just knew that I wanted to learn how to surf. And then I went on some trips. I went to Bali. And then I caught my first wave. And since then, I've just um, tried to travel on my holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. On and off. Not so much the last five years, but uh, getting into it again. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I've heard also some rumors that you were um, uh, sort of a local shredder in Hodovik back in the day. 
Oh yeah? yeah, yeah. I have been there, <laughs> but that was not a shredder then. <laughs> no, okay. no, I I I was there a couple of times, yeah. uh, but um, didn't catch many waves. Yeah. <laughs> Just enjoyed the views, yeah. paddled a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's a good workout. Yeah. yeah. What do you like most about the sport? Um, besides catching waves. Yeah. I just uh, think it's so complex and it's uh, like it demands so much from you uh, in terms of uh, different kinds of skills. So I think that the the reward you get when you actually get a wave is just so uh, empowering and just uh, it's like nothing, no other feeling, I think. It's a great feeling. Yeah. yeah. And it takes a lot of work, but... It takes a lot of work, and surfing can be the worst sport in the world one day, and then it can be the absolute best the next day. Mm, cool. So, uh, yeah, I just uh, love the feeling of just getting that wave. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Now, um, I've noticed, and we saw also on the clip, um, you are incorporating your boyfriend into the surfing world. Yes. How is that going? It's actually going really well. He had never surfed before, and we spent uh, Christmas in Sri Lanka. And he uh, was a really quick learner. And uh, that was his now first he's time. better than me. That was his first time. Uh-huh. And now he's better than me already. So uh, it's really nice. I want to <laughs> keep tricking him into doing like surfing holidays. Okay. Yeah. And it's. Are you competitive in the relationship in, ter- uh, in regards to skills? And now you Not at all. No. no. I want him to succeed so we can go on more surfing holidays. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the more he loves it, the more surfing trips you will do. Yeah. yeah. That's a smart approach. Yeah. yeah <laughs> cool. Now, uh, you mentioned uh, trips to Sri Lanka. Uh, you've been traveling around a bit to Bali and surfing. Can you tell us any, um, I guess, memorable stories or, or fun moments on those uh, surf trips? Yes. <laughs> uh, once I was in, um, in Bali, I spent a good two months there because my boyfriend at the time uh, lived there. So I, I surfed the same wave every day. It was re- really easy and I like understood that wave i felt like and can i uh, ask which wave it was the uh, airport right okay wow. and then uh, and toro toro so right. mostly toro toro but we mixed a little bit between the airport right and the toro toro so uh, one day we surfed airport right uh, and the, the, it got too shallow so we were like on the boat on our way back to toro toro and it started raining so much uh, and it was like pearls all over the all over the ocean and uh, the guy that I was surfing with was lighting up a smoke so I was like bending over him so that he could uh, catch a light okay. and he said <laughs> and I looked up and I saw because it's right next to the uh, like the airplane uh, stripe yeah. where the planes land yeah. and I looked up and I saw this plane like, like coming in towards the ground in a really strange direction but then it straightened up again so I looked down And he uh, lit his smoke and just uh, took a breath and just said, ah, this is life. (laughs) And in that exact moment, we just heard like, (laughs) and an airplane fell, like fell down in the ocean. Oh, wow. And it split in two. (laughs) That was a tiger air flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we were right next to it, like a hundred meters. Uh, yeah, that was my great story. But that's, uh, I think that's kind of special. Not that many people have been in the water while an airplane lands right next Sideways to Sideways in the water, no, yeah. luckily. So uh, we didn't go there because we had so many kids in our boat, so we just went straight to shore. Okay. But uh, everybody survived, so it's a happy story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, <laughs> I'm glad you added that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, that's certainly that was dramatic. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, now, um, on the road uh, and your, in your life, I'm sure uh, diet uh, and food is an important part of your life. Uh, how do you find the food and culinary delights of Portugal? It's been, uh, it's been good so far. We had, uh, it seems like they have a lot of good produce, a lot of uh, uh, fresh fruits and uh, yeah. Their kitchen is uh, not that far from Norwegian kitchen, I guess. It's like... Yeah, pretty much the same tastes and stuff, but uh, yeah, I like it. It's um, easy to navigate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Uh, there's um, quite a few, uh, like you mentioned, interesting restaurants in town. And, yeah. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work at the camp as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, speaking of the camp, yeah. um, how do you find the yoga area, the gym facilities and the skate bowl? Have you been getting into that? We have. Uh, we went to yoga one day and it was uh, really nice. And we've had quite a lot of uh, rain, so it was nice to be able to do something indoor as yeah. well. Uh, and it's, it's super nice to just uh, be able to do different types of activities. I don't skate. And I really don't like to work out that much on my holiday. No, <laughs> that's for surfing. That's fair. <laughs> but uh, for those who do, it's uh, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, holidays should be ho uh, holy. In yeah. That sense. <laughs> I, I can respect that. Yeah. Now, um, if we have a look at your Instagram, yeah, um, I feel you really come across as a fearless woman with the snowboarding, the surfing, and also this little gem. <laughs> yeah, which is quite uh, quite impressive. Um, Thank you. I wanted to ask you, uh, what drives you towards uh, these adrenaline-filled situation and action sports? Good question. I think um, uh, when it is a little bit scary and you get the adrenaline, the the feeling of mastering the sport or the activity, it's much greater. Uh, and I don't know, I've always done outdoorsy stuff. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I love being in the nature and in the elements. And I, uh, when you're speaking on my Instagram, I, I prefer to put like uh, sporty things or like show that girls can be cool too. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I just, um, this one was actually really painful. Because <laughs> I landed well, with my boobs straight in the water, so it was like, yeah, it well, hurt. Hate for, that hated for a week. It was painful, but uh, it was worth it. It was fun. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's a solid jump. Based on the name of the boat, I uh, imagine it'd be in Norway. Yes. Yeah. Or actually, I think it was Sweden. Oh. Just oh, here we go on the Swedish border. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, as mm. uh, There's another photo there that really um, stuck out for me. Okay. Not necessarily so much adrenaline, mm. but possibly some action uh, related. If you can bring that up, please, Thomas. Please tell me, uh, <laughs> as one that has been in many uh, horrible karaoke scenarios, <laughs> yes. what's going on here? Uh, I was in Russia <laughs> to, uh, with, my, with the work. I was doing this, um, like small pieces on uh, like the Russian population and stuff around. Uh, I was there during the world championships in soccer. Okay. And we were going to make this piece about uh, Russians not smiling. Uh. Uh, but it was impossible because they all smiled. And this was my favorite. This uh, woman was sitting on a bench and she had like her portable karaoke machine and oh. she just sang she was it was so horribly false but uh, she was all all of this smiling look at her eyes <laughs> yeah that face goes a long way huh? yeah <laughs> so and that the was fun. bling on the microphone it's yeah. strong <laughs> can i ask um what is your sort of go-to when it comes to karaoke you know i'm not much of a karaoke singer I if you had to today, if I had to, we may have a surprise for you. No, we're not singing. <laughs> that's my that's my one thing. I don't sing. <laughs> no, fair enough. But uh, if you were to join uh, Babushka it, it here on stage, it must have been some uh, some Backstreet Boys or something. Mm, yeah. Nice. Going back to the nineties. Mm. <laughs> I've never left. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> uh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, staying on Instagram, yeah. uh, we did a, a little vote with our. Um, Followers on La Pointe camps okay. uh, on whether on a beach day yeah. whether to spend more time in the ocean or on the beach. Yeah. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on that before we reveal the answer from the crowd. Well, if if there's waves. Yeah. Let's definitely. assume this is a surfing beach. Yeah. Uh, with beautiful conditions. Oh, <laughs> definitely most uh, mostly in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's also how most of our uh, followers. Uh, I don't think your followers them. are representative. Uh, our followers <laughs> are just uh, full-hearted <laughs> shredders. Yeah. 
Um, and I'm happy that it went that way. That yeah. being said, there's nothing wrong with enjoying the beach. No. Um, there are nice. no wrong answers here. You're all winners. <laughs> it's a nice place to rest between sessions. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, and to have a beer. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Summer's coming. Mm. Speaking of, uh, I guess, the future, mm -hmm. I would like to introduce a segment we call the Crystal Ball. Okay. Where we um, fuse together your calendar mm -hmm. and uh, hopes and dreams okay. for upcoming events. Okay. So if you would like mm -hmm. to uh, have a look and tell us what's in your uh, near future. Is it supposed to tell me something or should I? No, I think you should. <laughs> this is only for inspirational purposes. Yeah. I'd like to hear your thoughts about okay. uh, your summer, for instance. My summer, I don't think I will, uh, I don't think I will be pitted by the summer. That pitted? <laughs> no, aren't you, don't you say pitted when you yeah. get like, yeah, barrel? We do. I'm <laughs> glad that you're using that expression. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen by the summer, but that's like, my my life goal. Your life goal is to get barreled. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Great. Yeah. Uh, can you see it? I can. Uh, I can. Yeah, I can see it. Of course. Can yeah. you feel it? I I hope not. I hope it's gonna be way oh, better. I hope you can. Oh well, I can tell you when you're in there. Yeah. The sound alone, it's uh, it's spectacular. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. And then you're. Like, uh, that's <laughs> uh, just yeah i love that's your dream yeah yeah mm. best crystal ball so far thank you oh, yeah <laughs> good um on that love note crystal balls, yeah i'd like to thank you very much for hanging out with us today thank you for having me thanks to everyone at one uh, everyone at home for watching yeah. and um until next time let the good times flow <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing this. Yeah. Thanks again for watching the Good Times Pod this afternoon. Or morning. Or, you know, whatever time it is where you are. Did you feel the stoke? Did you throw a thumbs up at us even? That would be amazing. Regardless of what you thought of this video, what if you watch another one right now? Maybe that's the one that'll blow your mind. If you're keen to chase greatness, what if you have a look at this one? The next one can be much better. Heck, it could even change your life.